Apple just released a new iOS called iOS 9.3. It enhances the iOS device that you have, such as iPhone, iPad, or iPod, giving you the ability to use Night Shift, um, which makes it easier on your eyes when you're reading your iPad or phone at night, and the ability to password lock some of your notes. But what happens when upgrading your iOS doesn't go as planned? Now after doing the 9.3 upgrade on our iPad 2, it unfortunately appears that it must have bricked this one as well. So what we're going to try and do is use a different iPad this time to see if we can figure out why this is happening, or at least how to fix it. Well, it looks like Apple quit signing the 9.3 upgrade for older devices, but what we're going to do is we're going to use our imagination and pretend that we're upgrading to 9.3, so hopefully we can help you out. Okay, now that we've downloaded the 2 gigabyte file from Apple, um, we'll go ahead and just kind of let the iPad go through its restore process, which will probably take right around two to three lifetimes. And now we can swipe to unlock the screen, choose your language, choose your region, connect to your Wi-Fi network, now, I don't want any of you hackers out there to hack our networks. I'm not going to hide the password. All right, once that activates, now we're presented with the screen that's locking out most of their people here, or most of the people. I'm going to enter in my Apple ID and see if I can get this iPad activated. Oh, whoops, looks like I put in the wrong Apple ID. But anyway, that is most likely what you're gonna get. The next thing that you can do is connect it to iTunes, punch in the Apple ID over here, and see if you can activate the iPad this way. If that still doesn't work, the next thing we can do is to navigate to iCloud.com, punch in your Apple ID and password, um, you'll see a little icon there that says find my iPhone even if this is an iPod or iPad you can click on that now at the top click on all devices and that's gonna list everything that's connected to that Apple ID choose the device that you're trying to get past that activation lock if the iPad pod or phone or whatever is turned on you're gonna have the option to erase it you can continue to unlock the device this way, but you must erase it if you want to leave the um, device on. Otherwise, you can power it off. To do so, hold the top button until you get the slide to power off button, slide it, and let it turn off. Now, if you let it refresh for a while, you'll get this screen that says remove from account. Click on that, get a little warning pop up, Click on remove, and believe it or not, you're good to go. You should now be able to finish the setup process after turning your device back on, and hopefully it'll be a success.